We're coming out on top, so I am really excited for this race. Me too. So, who's going to get there? Well, Sebastian Moraventri needs some points. He's our overall leader. Coming out of Lithuania, didn't have things all his own way early this evening, but did get himself a podium place and should be good for that lead. Don't forget, once uh, we are underway, there's the gun which starts the race. Next time by, we will have the bell to announce the sprint lap. And then whichever rider is at the back, they will be trimmed off and they'll be going home at the moment. Roy Efting looks like he is a bit second-hand. He's got a lot of work to do. Well, fatigue starts to reflect rather quickly when you have this kind of compact programme. He might just get away with it. Watch at the bottom of the track. It uh, could well be there. Roy Efting, is he going to escape Roy Efting? He's going to make it, I think, but who's going out? Ooh, that was so tight. Efting had to work as hard as you can imagine, but Kavoki is gone. Efting getting away with that. What was he thinking, Joe? He's at the front now. <laughs> oh, talk about playing with fire. You cannot afford to have a moment's lapse in concentration. Next on the bubble here, it looks like uh, Josh Charlton is in a bit of bother. He dips down low. Has he got enough room to escape? Is there space in front of him? Not for Josh. Shame to see him go so early, Joe. Yeah, shame to see an early exit there for him, but a huge opportunity for the young rider at this event this evening, and we'll of course see him back tomorrow as well. So that yes, be good. we will. Well, there, Clancy, we've got uh, uh, William Tidball as well, who's here. Number 72 at the bottom, uh, Rotem Tene of Israel, as uh, again he's facing a wall of riders, others have got an escape route, is he going to get there? Well, it's between him and Spain, uh, Motorel, not our leader, but I think it is uh, Tene, it is, I'm afraid, he has gone, and we won't be seeing him on his home track, I'm afraid, Joe, because... Um, we were supposed to be heading off to Israel, but it means tomorrow will be our finale of the UCI Track Champions League. Yes, yeah, so four rounds ooh. in total. Uh, ooh. Hoover, I'm afraid, That's just right. managing to to go uh, uh, to, to issue a blow here. Flips the switch and down at the bottom. I'm afraid, bad news, Ed Clancy has gone. Of the sprint lap announced they come around very very quickly we said it was no re re respect to big names late towers in a bit of trouble it looks like he's just going to get himself out of that but bottom of the track Whoa. algeria algeria there, it I is think. chanel that goes yeah. spins through very very quickly there's a lot of pace about this Jeff. Yeah, very fast race. Again, it's hard to tell quite how fast it is when you're watching, but yeah, from the off, even that neutralised lap, racing is full on, and we're seeing big names in the back at the moment. Leitao and Conan O'Brien battling out at the top of the track. Yeah, Conan O'Brien gets out of trouble, but look down low here. And that is a big, big name to go. Aaron Gates, I'm afraid. Yeah, he was second in, in the elimination race last weekend in Lithuania, so big name to go out early there, unfortunately. That was gone again. It's absolutely relentless. Uh, well, trouble early for Roy Efting, and he's in trouble now. He's surely got to be tired. He's been locked down there, held, I think, in a precarious position, and indeed he does finally go. He's been playing with fire at the back, Joe. He's finally got burnt. He has, yeah, even the very first lap we thought he looked in trouble, but made it through, snuck a few, a few, elimina few eliminations there, but um, unfortunately eliminated now. Um, really not at his best as Corbin Strong today. There he is, second from last, but uh, another big name, Yuri Leitao of Portugal in trouble. The pair of them almost clashing here. A little bit of wriggle room further down. 
Oh, it's uh, there's not much room to play with, and the Kiwi Ooh. has gone after such wow. a strong opener. Let's not forget, Corbin Strong was the leader of the UCI Track Champions League after Mallorca, where he was missed 100%. What's gone wrong? Yeah, and he was just two points off the overall lead coming into this evening, so clearly just not on such good form this evening. And, you know, form is fickle like that. It comes and goes so easily. He was on fantastic form in Mallorca, but just not quite firing on all cylinders this evening, unfortunately. Motorel. He's trapped at the bottom, the Spaniard in red and gold. Oh, he's on the carpet, is he? No, gets away with it, just found some room. A little door opened up for him. I'm afraid it's uh, William Tipple who's gone. The Brits are leaving in droves here. Not the crowd, you understand. We've still got Reese Britton active on the track for Team GB. BDI of a commissaire. Did for Dennis Dimitriev earlier on. Yuri Leitao in a bit of trouble. He's battling out with Scottettini, the Italian, who doesn't want to go. Ooh, Ooh. do you know? It's between the two, I'd say Scottettini. I think Leitao. Leitao was, do you? Yeah. You're right. Yeah, he just left it a little bit too late there. Look how hard he's working there. Heart rate 194. Gosh. That was a big sprint effort, but just a little bit too late. Well, the effort as well, the defensive effort, I think you might say, for Scarlettini, I think may have a cost. He's at the back and he looks like he may well be flagging. That's uh, Reese Britton as well in front of him, just trying to stay uh, tidy. Oh, the crowd don't like this. Sprint lap, what have you got? Whew. There we are. Reese Britton, it is, Joe. Yeah not quite meant to be this evening rider that we've not mentioned so far sat on the front at the moment though Claudia Imhoff looking very good well he was fantastic earlier on in the scratch <clears throat> sped off got half a lap on the field they just couldn't catch him meanwhile Scarlett Cini at the bottom here is he finally going to run out of jokers no he stays active and it's Kellen O'Brien that goes yeah, there's a few times we mentioned him just playing with fire at the back there, but snuck through on a few occasions, but now eliminated, and we're down to our final six riders. We are. Um, notably, we haven't mentioned Sebastian Morovetri yet, and uh, this would be a great result for him. I think even now he's going to be in a comfortable position at the top of the rankings because others around him are struggling. Could be a big night for Gavin Hoover as well of the United States. There he is in uh, the new red livery. Ooh, Italy. Scarlettini finally runs out of vouchers, I think. Yeah, he does. So we mentioned him a few times there at the back and just getting caught at that time. I think we are down to our final five now. Maura Vedri in our leader's jersey at the back at the moment, but I'm thinking he's in control. He's just seeing who else is on the track. You can see exactly what's going on. I'm just going to time his move nicely now. Over the top of Imhoff first. He might lock Imhoff down. That six-day track, he's an Imhoff, doesn't like it, he's got nowhere to go, and Imhoff's gone. Well, two very experienced six-day men, and he's, uh, he's issuing a, a few oaths here. He felt like he was chucked out the back door there, and of course he was. Yeah, disappointment there for our scratch race winner, but top five overall in the elimination race will help him nicely in the overall standings, and of course he will be back up in action again tomorrow evening. <laughs> Imhoff. Not happy about being locked in by Morovedri, but it's clever work by Morovedri. He doesn't fear, it, fear him in the rankings, but he just wanted to make sure that uh, he was in an easy, getting an easier ride. So a Spaniard one and four here, and uh, it is number 71, Motorel, fellow compatriot of Morovedri, who leads in the Aquamarine jersey here, who's next to go. So, three left. I've got a feeling that uh, Moro Pedri may well have been found out right now. He's worked very, very hard for the lead in this competition. And I can't see him getting back to the pair that are in front of him. And Gavin Hoover's looking fantastic. Sweeps around that final corner, crosses the line. He's tidy enough. Sebastian Mora. Good finish for him, he should be secure at the top of the endurance rankings, but what can Gavin Hoover do here? Got his hands full, of course. Let's wait and see how busy he gets. It's Balashek against Hoover. Wow, it's all over. 
I am so pleased for Gavin Hoover. This is brilliant. He has been such a fabulous competitor. And the United States have won this. Gavin Hoover takes maximum points. And I believe, Joe, he's going to move into second place comfortably overall in the standings. Yes, well, he was in third place overall after round two of the competition, so he was doing very well overall without having won any events. This is his first win here, so that was a fantastic result. And look at him go with the lap to go there, uses the track out the saddle, maximum speed, plenty of time to celebrate.